Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to a quick FNAF news video. I say quick, I'll probably end up talking for a very long time, and the video will be like 17 minutes long. Let's hope that's not the case, because some of these topics really don't need to go, you know, we don't need to go fully in-depth with them, they're kind of, you know, face value. So, let's not waste any more time, if you're new, subscribe and smash the like, whether you're new or not, because really, it just helps me out. We just passed 12,000 subs, and boys, I cannot be more thankful. That's incredible. A great way to start off the new year. Also, Johnny Blocks merchandise. If you forgot about it, it's still there. Go cop yourself some merch. We got pillows, mugs, we got t-shirts, we got phone cases, we got stickers. All that good stuff. So, our first topic we need to talk about is the release of the FNAF coloring book. It came out today. Now, a few people have actually said, is this legit? Is this a bootleg? It is legit. It is official. It's made by Scholastic and Scott. It came out today. We did a whole video talking about all the new pages that have been revealed before the release so if you want to go check out what some of the pages look like it'll be linked down below that video and also I hope to get it very very soon within the next couple of days so I can review it and we can do a coloring stream or we just chill out so that is out right now you should be able to find it uh, probably at like Bones and Noble or whatever bookstore you have near you next up some very exciting news is we finally finally have a brand new phantom plushie by Funko if you didn't know the Phantom animatronics don't get a whole lot of merchandise. In fact, the only plushie of a Phantom is Phantom Foxy. But today, that ends now because we have a Phantom Balloon Boy plushie. It's a Hot Topic exclusive made by Funko and it is out right now. No, you know, announcement. It just kind of happened. I already bought one. It should be here. I mean, hopefully in like a week. So yeah, I'll make a video on that. Now for those people who are saying, oh, it looks weird. It doesn't really look like Phantom Balloon Boy. That's because technically, it's not supposed to be Phantom Balloon Boy from FNAF 3. If you compare it to Phantom Balloon Boy in Help Wanted, it matches up perfectly. So it seems like they went with the design of Phantom Balloon Boy in Help Wanted instead of FNAF 3, which is kind of a weird choice, but honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. I know a few people don't like it, they're calling it Sewer Balloon Boy, but I mean, he's green. You know, Phantom Phantom Foxy was green too. So I don't really know why people are hating on this one that much. I personally don't see a problem with it. Yeah, the color scheme is a bit weird, but that's literally the color scheme of Phantom Balloon Boy if you look at the model. So if you have an issue, you know, it's still Wolf's fault. And then we have an update on FNAF AR. You may have noticed there's been no new content. There's no, you know, there's no skins. There's no characters recently. So FNAF AR has been pretty silent up until today, where FNAF AR just put out a tweet saying, Happy 2021. Hope you're enjoying Winter Wonderland. We wanted to quickly update y'all about a few things. For this event, tokens can be earned until January 6th at 4 p.m. PST. And the event will end on the 13th of January at 4 p.m. PST. Event tokens are redeemable until then, after which they expire. So yeah, looks like we have another week to wait until we get more FNAF AR content. But we should have seen this coming. You know, I'm pretty sure FNAF AR said and Illumix said that they were going to take a break during the first um, few weeks of the new year, which, you know, to be fair, they have earned it. They've worked their absolute butts off last year. Even though I crapped on quite a bit of the skins and just, I mean, to be fair, it was getting very repetitive. You gotta admit, they just like, carried the FNAF community last year, where there was absolutely no news. There was no new games FNAF AR carried. So we really got to thank them for that because we probably wouldn't have survived last year with no game. So, you know, big preach to, um, to, uh, Illumix there. So yeah, I fully respect their break. I hope they come back better and stronger than ever. Um, you know, we have this big gameplay update that's supposed to be released, uh, next month, I think. Don't quote me on that though, because I, you know, I'm pretty sure even Illumix didn't have a set release date, so hopefully soon we can get it. But they definitely said it's not going to be this month, so yeah, stay on the lookout for more news about that. And I guess we'll see Illumix and FNAF AR uh, on the 13th. Actually, I just looked and the 13th is a Wednesday, so I guess we'll see them on the 14th if we get a new uh, thing going on then. So you have up until the 13th to use all of your, you know, Winter Wonderland tokens, and at which point, they're going to be gone. After that, they are gone. You can't use them. You can't buy anything with them anymore. And now the final topic and probably the biggest one that we need to talk about today. You may notice on January 1st, we started off the year great with three brand new YouTubes by our beloved favorite FNAF YouTubers. We got 8 Ryan, we got Razbelski, and we got Darko. So while I do think that these YouTubes look absolutely fantastic, I will 100% be buying each and every single one of them, all three of them. They're not really what I want to talk about. 
Well, yes, the designs do look amazing, especially Daddy Raz there. Can't wait to see his toes. Also, he's got the purple guy Pog swimsuit on, and he's missing an eyeball. That's the best thing. And Darko, of course, you know. Glitch Darko, Dark Trap, whatever his name is. I'm pretty sure it's Dark Trap. He does have the Glitch Trap mask, and YouTube did say that they did get Scott's approval to use that. So, that leads me into my next case. When can we expect the FNAF YouTubes? Because I don't think that this is it. Sure, you know, these guys are FNAF YouTubers, especially Darko over here, but they're not really what you would expect when they say FNAF YouTubes. You know, you would think Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, you know, the main gang. Not YouTubers, which is what YouTubes normally does. Up until now, if you take a look at the YouTube site, yeah, sure, you see a lot of YouTubers here. But you'll also notice that they've started to do gaming icons. Cuphead and Mugman. They did some Crash Bandicoot figures not too long ago, and it looks like they're about to do some Mega Man figures. So they are starting to dip their toes into the gaming market. Not just with YouTubers, but with actual gaming characters. And they did say that they are talking with Scott to see if they can make some FNAF figures. And if they got Scott's approval to do the glitch trap mask with Darko, they very clearly still are in talks with Scott. So, hopefully we can get some look at the, the figures soon. Now to be fair, it wasn't too long ago that we heard this news about some U2's FNAF figures, so it might be a little bit, because I'm sure these things take a long time to design and produce. So I think our best bet is to keep a very close eye out on the U2's website, because that is where they post some silhouette icons, as you can see. Again, you got Mega Man and you got Dog Trap up there. Oh yeah, and they did Angry Birds. They've done so many gaming characters now. So that's really all I need to talk about today. Day. We got the coloring book, we got the new Phantom Bloom Boy plushie, we got a update on FNAF ER, and we have some U2s dropping. I believe they said late January, so stay on the lookout for 8-Bit Ryan, Raz, and Darko. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>